Welcome to our course on building a website from scratch. So some of the resources that I'm going to be using throughout the course, which I've got open right now on my screen. So just over here on the left hand side, this is brackets. This is a brackets editor. It's from Adobe. And then on the right hand side, I've got my live preview available. And the really neat thing about brackets is it comes with this live preview. And as you can see, when I type something here on the left hand side, it shows up in the live preview on the right hand side. So this saves me quite a bit of trouble of going back and forth and I can actually see what's happening when I add in some code within real time. And if you're looking for an editor, if you already have an editor, you can go ahead and use that. But if you're looking for a brand new editor to try out, uh, Brackets is from Adobe. It's available, it's free to download. Open source text editor, works across multiple platforms. And there's some really good information here at the brackets.io website. There's also a lot of really nice popular extensions. And I'm also gonna be using it within this course. Some of the other resources that I'm using in the course are placeholder it, which gives you the ability to place placeholder images within your website. And this is great when you're designing websites because this gives you the ability to really add in content and make it look as a normal website would with all the content in place. There's also blindtextgenerator.com and this is the same thing where we're going to be adding in some extra text there, placeholder text, and allows us to generate lorem ipsu text. Uh, so this is just some dummy text that we can utilize within our build when we're building out our website. And another resource that I'm going to be using within this course, so this is Gliffy. Uh, Gliffy.com and this is where I'm going to create the wireframe for the website that I'm going to be building within the course. Uh, so you can use any editing software. Uh, so this is just gives me the ability to really easily kind of sketch out what I want the website to look like and then be able to present it in a JPEG and then we can refer back to it as we build out the website. And this is always a good idea when you're building out your website to just to sketch something out and you get a rough idea of what you want your website to look like and then you build towards it. Uh, so I'm going to be using this for wireframing and you could use a number of other resources including Adobe Photoshop and there are some wireframing wireframing applications as well that are really useful and you can really quickly build out. But I'm just gonna simply build out a very boxy type outline of the website that I'm building. And uh, so the gliffy.com is gonna be sufficient for the needs of this course. Uh, so another thing that I'm using, uh, I'm using a browser, Chrome browser. And the really nice thing about Chrome is that we get access to dev tools uh, so this is that console that just opened up. I'm on a Windows machine, so I can open up the developer tools with Control shift i or I can go in the menu over here, click to open the developer tools. And what the developer tools do is they give you the ability to take a quick peek at your HTML code. You can also see your CSS. So we've got the box model over here. Uh, so I can select an element and I can see some basic information from the CSS. I can uh, see where the margins are and I can get a better idea of what I need to adjust if I do need to make some adjustments. So another really useful tool is Chrome because it really does have a lot of capabilities. And also if you're developing some JavaScript code, you've got the console here so you can communicate back and forth. There's sources, network, timeline, profiles, and a bunch of other stuff here as well. Really useful. We also have access to the DOM so we can see all those DOM uh, DOM properties here available right within the browser. So we are definitely going to be utilizing this. And also another tool that I'm going to be using, but it's not actually necessary for you uh, if you want to get your website up and running. And this is going to be XAMPP. And XAMPP essentially lets me run an Apache server on my local machine. So I can go over to localhost when I start it up and I can actually run PHP code. But the, the course is going to be based on HTML and CSS, which only needs a browser to run. But I do like to run the localhost so that I can actually simulate the way the website is going to be presented on the domain. Uh, so this is also an option to have this running uh, if you want to do some development, especially if you want to add in some PHP capabilities and database capabilities to your website and try that out, uh, then XAMPP is definitely one of the best resources to get up and running quickly. 
Uh, so this is available across Windows, Linux, and OS X. And the website, apachefriends.org. And you can find out some more information about XAMPP. Uh, relatively easy to set up. Uh, you can just click to set up and then uh, you can set up in the configuration files where the source of your website, where your source files are in order to run your website or you can just download it to their default default folder that's going to be set up on your machine when you set up XAMPP. So again, not absolutely necessary but it is a good resource and a good tool to have when you are doing your development. So also we're going to be starting out with a basic HTML5 template so we've got a basic outline here all ready to go so we've got our HTML code our head and body and we're linking over to a style.css file which is just over here that I've got both open both uh, files open right now and we're going to use them to develop the website so all of this ready to go and in the next lesson we're going to start adding some code and creating our website from scratch and of course the website's going to be fully responsive we're also going to be utilizing some bootstrap in order to make our menu more responsive bootstrap provides an easy way to make responsive menus and if you're not familiar with bootstrap bootstrap is available at getbootstrap.com and what bootstrap is is this is a framework that allows you to rapidly develop web content uh, so predominantly it's essentially a CSS file that allows you to create fully responsive websites just by adding classes in your HTML and then there's also some JavaScript components and these are based in jQuery and these are also really useful uh, regular things that you'd be adding in a website and it's already pre-configured so all you have to do is uh, access it via you need to access add in jQuery and the bootstrap JavaScript file and then you have full access to all of this capabilities and all you have to do is place it within your HTML. But we're just going to predominantly be looking in Bootstrap utilizing the responsive menu because Bootstrap provides a really nice component here for responsive menus and uh, we're going to be utilizing with that within this course as well. So let's start coding and creating our website.